I haven't really done much shopping. I've just been trying to relax after what happened last Wednesday with my son. Um, I was just so happy that, um, you know, that I didn't have another appointment for like till this Friday. So for like a week and a half, all I did was rest. So I thought that, um, that this Friday, um, you know, I said, you know, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I rested. Um, I was on the phone with, um, different, you know, with Medicaid and different things. And, um, so I got the ball rolling with that. I found out that emergency Medicaid is for non-citizens. That doesn't make sense to me, but I can get the, I guess, you know, you have to be careful how you word it. I can get temporary Medicaid. Uh, I did the, um, should I apply online? And it's, and it said, go ahead and try and apply. Um, and that was with the income. So I guess all of the problems that I had did put up the red flag that yes, you know, this person should try. So anyway, I got the roll bowling on that. I know that there's like a time frame. It has to be applied within January so that it'll pay for my January bills. And I think that once you, you know, you call them up and tell them I want to apply, send me the papers. Um, it says there's a deadline, but I couldn't find the deadline. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I, I got to get started on that. But, um, but yeah, so I, I, I was, you know, on the phone, um, did my complaint to the hospital, did the dispute, although not my credit card company saying they don't know, you know, we don't know and blah, 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 and all these different things. But, you know, let's just see what happens. And, um, gave my complaints verbally and the lady said she would get back to me, not right away, like not the next day, but so if I don't hear back from her this week, then I'm going to write a written complaint against the hospital um got my first bill just for radiology alone was like a thousand dollars i mean i'm telling you but anyway um i think that uh it has some sort of non-insured they give you a discount so um i gotta call them up to make sure because it seemed too good to be true like an 80 percent discount i was like that seems too good to be true but let's see what happens um, but yeah, but as far as how I'm feeling, I had to go out on Friday and get my daughter's refills. Last Wednesday was my son's refills. Uh, so yesterday, no, Friday was my daughter's refills. So I went and, um, I fit behind the wheel of my car with no problem. I reached the gas pedal with no problem. Um, but, um, walking and, and it was, it's like the parking, they have a parking lot that's right there in front of like the door. It's not far. And I found that I was still sore. So that's really weird. I've been taking my antibiotics. So it's it's um it's really been the swelling has really gone down. And like my stomach is just hanging, but it's like a lot of skin. <laughs> um, of course they're still fat, and that kind of worried me a little bit because it seemed like the fat was a little less before. But I weighed myself. Uh, my husband has a scale that reaches up to 400 and um, I weighed myself and I lost another like 22, 23 pounds since last Wednesday. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that it's probably the water weight. I, I'm only taking the water pills every other day because they hurt my kidneys. Um, but I have been trying so hard and, and I'm, I'm making mistakes. I know that. Uh, and sometimes I, there's like nothing to eat or I have stuff left over that only I'm going to eat. Um, so I still haven't perfected the, the, um, the diet. I, I, there's, there's healthy living and then there's a diet. <laughs> and I think if you change your habits, I, I've changed my habits. I mean, I don't fry foods. Like I said, I'm not eating bonbons all day. I changed my habits a lot, you know. Um, but now I'm denying myself stuff I like. So I call that a diet. And I haven't perfected it yet. Um... So, you know, like, I, I, they say you should have, like, a cheat day. I know that I had, like, half a bowl of mac and cheese, which is high in sodium. And it's, you know, the white flour. So, and, and I mean, like, maybe that much of it, that little bit of it. Um, and I didn't, I couldn't even eat that in a whole sitting. Um, I've been eating less. Um, you know, trying to avoid sugar as much as possible. Trying to avoid white flour stuff as much as possible. Eating a lot of fruits because I have a sweet tooth. Eating more vegetables. Um, 
trying to find whole grain. I hate wheat. And, and as a matter of fact, that oh, wheat, 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 wheat is supposed to be better for you. And, and I hate that they always say things that you can't eat, you can't eat, you can't eat. And then later on, they find out it wasn't as good for you as they thought with wheat, with egg uh, yolks, with soy. Um, you know, the soy might be good for menopause. Like they say that a lot of Asian women eat a lot of soy and they don't go through menopause, but they started getting breast cancer. So soy over a long period of time was giving women, those women breast cancer. So egg yolks, you can't eat, you can't eat. Then they find out the egg yolks have good cholesterol. So, you know, and then with wheat, it's supposed to be good for you, good for you. And wheat makes your body retain fat and it upsets the stomach. I won't eat wheat. So, you know, I just look for, I look for whole grain. Um, I like oatmeal bread. I've been eating oatmeal. Um, let's see. So, you know, I've been, and of course I always drink a lot of water and I don't drink um, any kind of uh, sodas. I, I never have. I never really like them. Um, I My daughter makes very weak coffee. So if she makes coffee every day, I'll have it because uh, she makes it very weak. Um, and, um, and, I, and I was telling her only put a dash of cream in it for me because um, I don't want it too sweet because, you know, because of my diabetes. So I found sugar-free creamer and I found out that the second ingredient <laughs> It's corn syrup. That's sugar. How do they get away with that? How do they get away with labeling things sugar-free and they have a sugar, some sort of sugar in them? I don't know how they, they get away with that stuff. False advertisement. My fault. I should have read it before I brought it home. And um, someone told me that corn is actually good because it's it's a it's like a whole grain that it you know like instead of having like say I want a taco instead of having white you know a white flour tortilla which I loved the tortilla um to do the corn that it's better for you um so uh, so i questioned it can is corn okay and i went on facebook and everybody's like no don't don't take it um now i i've, I've used, been using olive oil margarine or whatever they call it olive oil something <laughs> um for a very long time because my son's cholesterol's up my husband's cholesterol's up and, and you know and uh, mine was borderline, and um, now they say, and people always said butter's better, butter's better, but I have the heart problem, so I'm like kind of, you know, undecided whether I should just stick with butter, or um, you know, do the olive oil margarine, because I heard olive oil is very good for you. But when I make a pancake, I'm not gonna do it with olive oil, you know, in a pan. Um, so I use like the olive oil margarine. Um, Sometimes if I'm having an egg, and, and I've been hard boiling them instead of frying them, but even when I fry them, I fry them in olive oil margarine. I never use oil straight up. Uh, I use olive oil like if I'm cooking chicken, so that, you know, because there's no grease in it, so it'll burn. So, I mean, I've, I've, I've already been doing a lot of this over the years, so, you know, um, but, you know, I just have to cut. I've been cutting back so, so much for the past three months. I think what happened was with the holidays, I went crazy. And I think that's what pushed me over the edge and into the hospital. But um, I'm almost finished with my antibiotics. I um, That fungal infection that I had is, is going away. I'm using uh, the fungal powder, you know, prescription strength powder. I only use, I was using it twice a day. Um... Now I'm just using a lot more once a day. And then for the rest of the day, if there's any moisture, I put my moisture absorbing powder. But um, the blisters have, have all turned to scabs, you know, and um, and um, like some new ones were starting to form even before I went to the hospital. Those all got smaller. Um, so I've only got a few days left on my antibiotics and I really hope it finishes getting rid of this infection. Um, so yeah, so I, I think I'm on the right path. A friend of mine sent me a gift card. I was like, I, I don't, I, I mean, I told you before, some, I told you before, I feel like I don't deserve to get anything. And she gave me a gift card because um, she, she's she been like a friend of mine for many, many years. And uh, we had a falling out a few years ago. Um, it might have been a misunderstanding, but we found each other again through Facebook. And she sent me a gift card. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to cry. I haven't taken pictures. That stuff always touches me. The things that you guys have written me through Facebook on, on here really touch me that you guys care, you know? Oh, God, I haven't taken pictures. <laughs> so, 
you know, it's just, I, I, I was like, oh my goodness, I feel so, like, oh, you didn't have to send me money, you could use that for yourself, but she sent me a gift card, so what I did with that was, I went on Amazon and I ordered a diabetes book, again, because I don't understand the disease, um, I ordered the diabetes book, Understanding Diabetes Type 2, and then I bought a diabetes cookbook, 30 minutes or less, because I'm tired all the time, so... I did that. Um, even my family starting to eat healthier with me. Um, like I'm making more broccoli because usually it's just me and my husband, but now my daughter, and my son, my they're kind of forcing themselves to eat it because they don't like it. But after what happened to me, it's like a wake up call to them. So they're trying to, you know, um, to get on this diet. Um, I haven't. I don't. I don't use salt straight up except when I'm making white rice. And that, that's basically the basic staple of the Puerto Rican family is white rice and beans. Um, so I'm putting less salt and I don't eat it. Or if I just, you know, I really love my rice and beans. So I just take a little tiny bit, like maybe that much, pour the beans over it. And, um, and that's what I, um, I'll have, but that won't be my, my main meal. I usually have fish, chicken, um, I try to stay away from the beef. I'm not crazy about. I try to stay away from that. Pork chops. I had like once this week. I don't fry them. I boil them. So I boil all the grease out, and I just put a tiny bit of um. I put that. This is the one thing I have to have my Spanish seasoning, and it the main ingredient is garlic and salt. So I just before I would just like pour it on, um, and even then it's not like when I was a teenager that I could put a ton of it on. I can't do that anymore. Um, and the funny thing is I can't have anything that's too sweet or too salty, but anyway, um, but still I am where I am and I, I just put a little bit on just to give it a little bit of the flavor because otherwise I'm not going to stick to a diet. <laughs> um, so I put a little bit of my, my Spanish seasoning on, um, on the meat and, um, but mostly I've been like eating chicken and more fish actually because my family hates fish but i love it and i figured that's probably the safest thing to eat so sometimes i'll i'll cook their food and then i'll make some fish for me um so yeah so that's what i've been doing and and i lost a total of 41 pounds um my belly um is not hanging as much anymore so i'm like a little nervous i'm like i hope i'm not like gaining because you know i haven't been like cheating really or anything um I went out to eat for the first time with my family, and I, 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 I have to get used to when we eat out. Um, first of all, we <laughs> try not to eat anything more expensive than fast food because just, you know, the finances are really drained right now. So I have to get used to reordering again. Like So since I can have corn tortillas, I said, oh, I want the nachos. I, I should have asked, I asked for nachos thinking that the nachos were going to be made of corn. <laughs> And then they said, oh, you want to drink with that? I said, yeah. And then after the fact, I realized, wait a minute, I can't have none of those sugary drinks. Because usually I have sweet tea, but still, that's still sugar in it. So I like totally got to re, really, really revamp my mind. When I got the nachos, they were flour tortillas. So I was like, whatever, you know, let me just eat this. And I have to get used to just when I order in a fast food restaurant, really, really make sure what I'm getting. Um... So, I mean, that was that. So, uh, I guess I'll consider that my cheat day. <laughs> so, um, you know, I think some people say once a week, I wouldn't be able to get away with that because I'll just go crazy. So, I think once a month, maybe I'll have a cheat day. Um, even like if I want a dessert, like um, when I first got out of the hospital, I really, really want a dessert. Um, I'll, I'll get one dessert and I'll just take like one or two tastes and I'll let my family finish it, you know. So, at least get it out of your system because... I know myself and a lot of people, if you're just going to completely be denying yourself, you're going to fail. So, you know, allow you, I allow myself one cheat day a month. Um, and I, I'm going to say that that talk, that nachos was my cheat day. And even though I'm going to cheat, I'm not like, I like one of the things I've been wanting is a banana split. I have that once a year and I didn't do it this, this past year. And I was like craving it. So probably in the summer I will, I'll get one. And I'll probably just taste the, the three flavors and then let my family finish it. And basically, I was just sharing it before, too, because, you know, again, I'm, I am trying. So when I did do the banana split, once I still shared it. I didn't eat it all by myself. So 
But now it's different. It's not like we can share. It's like I can only taste it, get that out of my system, and let them eat it. So, you know, some people have once a week. Mine has to, this, when I lost the 62 pounds, it was once a month. That's all I could allow myself. And even then, you still have to limit what you're going to eat in that one month if you don't want to, you know, go into a sugar shock or coma or something. So, yeah, the pills, um, the other thing I'm, I'm experiencing, and I know it's the diabetes pills, is that I'm seeing, I'm taking that, I'm taking that at night at, at a lot of people's suggestions because they make me feel lightheaded and dizzy. That seems to work, but I do have to take my diabetes pill twice a day, and I noticed that my eyes were so light sensitive, they were hurting so bad, um, so I, I decided to cut them in half again. I was, I, I was cutting them in half, then I said, let me try it this way. And then as my eyes were hurting, I know diabetics can be blind and I know I'm only type two, but I was like, I don't, again, I don't understand the medication they gave me. I don't understand how it all works. So I cut it in half again and now the light sensitivity is much, much better. So anyway, I'm just, you know, trying, doing all of this stuff and just really trying, you know, to, to get myself healthy, really trying because my family needs me. My husband lost his mother to cancer. I don't want him to lose me too to some sort of, you know, sickness or disease. My, daughter, my children need me. I have one with, uh, disabled, one that's bipolar. So, you know, I need to stay alive. So that's what's been going on with me. And thank you all so much for all your concerns and your well wishes and everything. I love you all so much. And I will see you next week with Vintage Glams uh, starting the Valentine's series. Mwah. Love you. Bye.